LinkedIn Sales Navigator is a game-changing tool when it comes to sales prospecting, closing deals, and reaching out to new leads. In this video, I am going to show you guys a quick tutorial on how to get started. So currently, LinkedIn has a Sales Navigator plan and a Sales Navigator Advanced plan. You can see the pricing over here and definitely take a look at what is included in each of these plans to see the one that best fits your need. I already have a Sales Navigator account, so I quickly logged in and this is what your interface would look like. So let's take a quick example to understand this platform a bit better. Let's say I am in the skincare industry. I'm a skincare wholesaler and I want to reach out to businesses in the skincare niche and pitch about my services or my products to them. So I don't know what the companies are. So first thing I would like to do is go and search for companies that would qualify as my target audience. So I'm going to go over here and I'll click accounts and over here I'll click create account list and I'm going to give this a name. So I'll call this as skincare companies and I want to target companies specifically based in Canada. So I'll click Canada over here and you can give a little description if you like and I'll click create. Perfect. So now we have our list created. I'm going to go in and start searching for the accounts. So LinkedIn offers this really cool attributes and features which you can use to filter out what you're looking for. So for example, for company attributes, I want to target companies that are very like small and medium scale. So I'll click 11 to 50, 51 to 200. That looks good. And I don't want to target those big giant corporation because we are a very small company, let's say, and we want to keep it very niche. I'll click retail health and personal care products and maybe personal care products manufacturing so the next attribute that matters the most about my business is the annual revenue so this company should have an annual revenue of around half a million to at least five million to qualify for what i am looking for so this is a really good criteria i'm gonna click add and over here you can see that linkedin has provided us a list of companies that fit within those criteria. If you really want to get a bit more granular and if you're looking for something specific, feel free to type in the keyword over here and search accordingly. Now we have this company over here which is known as Summer Fridays which is a personal care product manufacturing company and it has 52 employees on LinkedIn. The revenue is like around 5 million which is what our requirement was. So I can click on this and I'll come to this page where I'll have a bit more insight into what the company is, uh, who all are the employees, the decision makers and things like that. If I click decision makers over here, you're going to see all the people that have been working in this company so far. And when you scroll down, you can also see the growth insights. So you can see how much they have grown over the years in terms of their employee count, how many new hires they had and things like that, which gives insight into how well the company is doing as well. The sales navigator would also provide alerts in terms of what has been happening with the company. If somebody started in a new position, if the company shared an update so you can stay in tune uh, with your lead and how you can approach them and if this company qualifies as a really good lead for your business all you got to do is click the save button and add it to your list i've already saved it so i'm just going to use this one for example so when you click save you're going to see all the lists that you have created and you can add it to them or you can create a new list at this point as well give it a name and add it to that list and categorize it. Similarly, go through all the companies, see the ones that fit your need and add them to your targeting list. Now going back to our Summer Fridays example, if I click all employees, I'm going to see all the people that are working in the company, but I only want to target people who are working in product section or maybe marketing section. Uh, so I'll click product. I'll try to see if anything shows up. So yeah, we do have an executive director over here of product development. And then the other one is senior manager in product marketing. So these both are great lead or opportunities for us to pitch our services and our business. So for example, if you're working in marketing and if you want to uh, market your services to a company, you would definitely reach out to CMO or maybe the marketing directors or managers because they are the ideal decision makers. So in this case, we are trying to pitch our products. So we want to reach out to the product team and see what they think about it. 
So I'm going to go over here and I can click save and I can add them to my list. So let's say if I want to add them to my other list, I'll click that. And as you can see, our lead has been saved. If you want to know a bit more about a certain lead, you can click their name and over here a window is going to pop up which is going to show all the information about their linkedin profile you know where they have worked what they have been doing so far so you can get a lot more context when you are approaching them now i want to send my first linkedin in mail to this person so i'll click message over here so now a window is going to open up where i can type in my messages and send it to my lead and in your sales navigator pack you're going to see that you get a certain number of credits that you can use to send in mails um so right now i have 70 remaining credits so i can send 70 in mails to my leads out there i cannot send anything more than that so i added my subject line and my message over here uh, i would definitely recommend you to spend some time crafting a message that converts well because this is the first time you know you're approaching your potential lead out there and you want to make a good impression and you also don't want to sound too salesy so try to keep it short concise and personal at the same time if you do have some mutual friends definitely bring that up when you're reaching out to them that way you have that connection and it just grows in a much more organic manner if you want to add any sort of attachment you can also click attachment over here and add a file and once that is done you can click send but that's how you can send your LinkedIn in mails to your leads out there. And over here under the messaging tab, you're going to see your sales navigator inbox where you can see all the messages that you have sent so far. And if any of your leads are replying back, you can interact with them in this place. I hope you guys enjoyed and found this quick tutorial helpful. If you did, definitely subscribe to this channel to watch more of such useful content when it comes to marketing. Um, and yeah, I shall see you guys in my next one. Have a great, lovely day ahead. Thank you.